Hey guys, it's Full Cuts here. Lavender Rock, Montreal, Quebec, sunny Quebec. Uh, the sun deities are out and about. I think there's like an Egyptian sun goddess up there. Beautiful. Uh, so in front of me today, guys, reeling it back just a bit, I have a box of 2002, 2003 Pacific Atomic, Supersonic, Economic Atomic, Rocket Like a Comet. Uh, it's from 2002, 2003. They went out of business actually around 2004 or five, around the lockout back then. So these are sort of the last boxes from this era of this stuff. Pretty cool product Pacific, always bargain basement, high number cards, etc. Configuration five cards per pack, 20 packs per box, amount to 100 cards total. Base set one through one, honey, and the rookies are 101 through 131. There are parallels, there's the hobby parallels, number to 775, the blues to 175, the reds to 125, and the golds to 99, which is low numbering for, for that era. So within a box break, guys, expect 3.8 of the game warns, four of the rookies, 15 of the hobby parallels, 3.33 of the blues, 1.8 of the golds, and then the other inserts should receive about 1.8 of the gold fusion, so two of those, one of the power converters, one of the super colliders, one of the US national pride, I think it's US national pride, unless it's a Canadian box and they have, I don't know, we'll see and 49% uh, opportunity to hit one of the denieds. Uh, reason why I open up a box like this is they tend to still be affordable. They are always a bargain basement product. And as you guys know, I like the whole democracy around the uh, hobby whereby anybody and anyone can afford any card uh, as opposed to it just being a rich man's speculative game. I mean, it's a hobby, right guys? It's a hobby. Uh, so we would like to assume uh, at its core, uh, for most of us. Uh, yeah. Okay, so here we go. I'll stop proselytizing. And here is the box. Uh, rookie class, very, very quickly. Gerber, Kobasu, Rick Nash is a big one. Hemsky, Jay Bowmeister, Hainsey, uh, Upshaw, Leopold, Leopold, Sharp. Um, who am I missing? Um, Zetterberg, of course, Zetterberg. Yeah, and Spezza. Spezza is the one I would want. And let's get at it, guys. So you can already see, I guess, the hobby parallels. We should receive at least, I think, variation or parallel per pack. So number to 775, which would be the hobby uh, variations. So this is a parallel or hobby variation. And you see the backs, very, very Pacific. Uh, and the cards aren't sticking. And here we have the uh, Alexei Morozov. And this one here is number to 175. Uh, so that by definition would obviously be a blue. So these are really cool die cut cards, uh, really snazzy cards. I've always found this particular set beautiful. There's Nikki Lidstrom, Rob Blake, and Joey Neuendijk. And the backs of the cards. Die cuts, guys, die cuts, forward. The fact that they're not sticking is good omen, and the fact that they actually have the odds written so clearly here is something I really, really appreciate. It's just written with such clarity. If only all boxes did that. Uh, continuing on, guys, we have our first uh, insert, I guess. So we have a Marcus Naslin to 775, so it's one of the hobby parallels. And this is one of the power converters. Uh, and the power converter would be none other than Lexi uh, Yashin. Uh, really awesome cards, don't you think, guys? Amazing stuff. Eric Daze, Bill Guerin, and the Morozov. Uh, Non-parallel. So power converters are one in uh, 21, 20, 20 packs, so it's just under one per box. Point uh, or something of that ilk. Continuing on, another one of the hobbies, there's Johan Hetberg. Now, look at this Danny Heatley. This is a cool looking card. So that's what they call the cold fusions in the backs of the cold fusions. Uh, Stevie Y. Mira Chatan, Satan, and Peter Bondra. Peter Bondra, nice. So just keep an eye out for jerseys. This feels thicker, maybe I'm wrong, this feels thicker. Keep an eye out for all kinds of variations or parallels in this stuff. Uh, I think we have our first jersey, is that a jersey? I can't really tell, we'll see in a second. Look at that, Mike Richter, I met him in New York actually. Marty Biron, uh, Hedberg, Mario, multiple Mario die cuts, and here is our, it's a blues, so you can sort of deduce and deduct who that might be. And it would be De, uh, Pavel Dimitra, I'm guessing. And there you go. And so it's our first jersey, I think it's just a base jersey. I know that there are uh, lowered numbered 
patches as well. It's a pretty nice looking card though, isn't it? Very clean look. I'd have to hammer through at this point, so we'll go a bit quicker, guys. So we have uh, more parallels, Chris Pronger, and they're numbered to 1300. So this would actually happen to be one of the rookie cards. And it's Steve Eminger, and it's numbered to 1300. All right. Marty Turco, Adam Oates, and Saku Koivu. So we're looking for four rookies, hoping to hit a Jason Spezza or a Rick Nash or a Zetterberg. Manny Fernandez, Hobby. Uh, there's the Vinny Le Cavalier Blue, number to 175. Kovalchuk, Craig Conroy, and Roman Czechmanic. It's a very nice product. It has sort of almost a, a mid-range premium vibe to it. Uh, the Mario Parallel. And here is our national, U.S. National Pride. So in fact, it would be a U.S. Pride exclusive. And we have Mike Medano. He and Brett Hall are the all-time guys, uh, along with Kane now, I guess, for Americans. Salo, Thibaut, and uh, Nabokov. Okay. So yeah, I think Kane will surpass some of these guys at some point. Of course, there's Housley, there's Roenick, uh, there's Daddy Kachuk. Uh, Joe Mullen as well was an American player. Uh, Mike Dunham. And here we have a low-numbered gold. We hit a gold, and the gold is Jocelyn Tebow. So we have some Habs Mojo per usual and Goalie Mojo per usual. Uh, Bell, Korea, and Eliash. So I'm assuming this is jersey number two. I'm assuming, I'm, and it's another blues. It can't be the same player. That would just be ridiculous, right? Uh, continuing on, we have Nikolai Habibulin. We have Jose Theodore. Goalie is a go-go. Gary Roberts, Matt Sandin. And our second blues uh, hit, seeing as this is a blues box, uh, would be an authentic. So, oh wow, we hit a Ray Ferraro. So it's number to 322. So this is a low number. Oh, look at that. Look at that. We hit a Ray Ferraro patch. So this is considered a, what they do deem a patch variation. That's a nice looking card. It is a very, very nice looking patch. Uh, and, and is Ray Ferraro, who's our commentator. I think he also does the Team Canada games, doesn't he? So that's fantastic. I'm assuming he's on TSN, just up from memory. That was a very cool hit, guys. All right, so we have the Simon Gagné uh, hobby. And then, oh, cool, so we hit the James Bowmeister. So we hit one of the big guys, that's very nice. Number to 1300, so it's a high numbered one. Paul Fee, uh, Forsberg, and Danny Briere. Danny Briere, who, I guess he's a GM in the ECHL. The Hacks could have him GM their the Rocket before they uh, start thinking about him for the big job, you know? Uh, really should develop all their talent, even their um, front office talent. Dan Blackburn, he was the cat who used the two blockers. Um, very cool. And there's the Timo Solani blue. So we fit another blue. Jason Allison. Burbay with the ugliest helmet on the planet, and there's Brent Johnson. I mean, power to Blackburn for using two blockers. He, I think he had, he destroyed one of his arms. So, number to 775, and ooh, we have something here. I think it's just a base insert. So there's Jerome Aginla, Ronick, and behind the Happy Bullen, we have, oh, nice. So we hit the super colliders, and our super colliders would be none other than Joe Thornton. Okay. Uh, yeah, man, that's very cool. I'm a big fan of his. And J.S. Giger. No autos in this product, guys, so don't come expecting uh, autos in a low-end product. Todd Bertuzzi. Oh, look at that. So we hit the gold of Pavel Bure. Very nice gold. Jeff O'Neill, Samsonov, and Bertuzzi. Could have put them all aside because you can actually feel them. But I wouldn't do that to you for pacing reasons. Uh, Owen Nola, number 775, and we have the Frolov rookie card, uh, number to 1300. So we haven't hit a, one of the low numbered parallels yet. Jason Arnott, Felix the Cat, and Keith Kachuk, Father Kachuk. Oh, there's Eric Lindros, very nice. Uh, and there we have the Patrick Laline Blue, Martin Biron, Ryan Precht, and Brunette, who went flying. But you can see how this makes a very pretty attractive base set, easy to collect because there's only 100 cards on the base set. 
the rookies go up to 131, so even those would be not that difficult if you receive four a pack. Uh, Nabokov, Yarrow Jagger, Geo Sakic, Geo Sakic, uh, Shanahan, and Smoginier. We have the Gary Roberts, the 775. And we do have another Cold Fusion. I guess we received two per box and we hit the Lindros. That's actually a really nice one. Do you guys say Lindros or Lindros? I feel like my entire life I've said both. I think when I was a kid, I called them Lindros and now I call them Lindros. Uh, Fedorov, Eric Cole, and Dan Kluche. Yannick Perot. And there we have the Kari uh, Hakan. Uh, <laughs> is that his real hair? Is he dying it? Uh, number to 1300, so that's a of course, a rookie card, Bobby Lou, Knudsen, and Chris Pronger. So we did not hit the Jason Spezza. We have two packs left. Both felt a bit thicker, but who knows? And we definitely have a jersey in this one. I think it's a jersey. And what about this one? Do we also have a jersey in here? It would be cool to have two jerseys at this point. Uh, yeah, right. Two jerseys. Okay. <laughs> All right, guys. These keep on coming. Uh, Yannick Perot, Jose Theodore, uh, Gary Roberts, Eric Lindros, I think I said Lindros, and we do have uh, an authentic Roman Turek goalie mojo, obviously, obviously. So we hit the Roman Turek, not bad. Uh, plain blue jersey, and here's our last pack, guys. Let's see what else we can get. Another Mario, I think we've hit like multiple Marios. Uh, John, oh, there it is. I didn't even realize it was right there. And we hit the John LeClaire game worn. That is, uh, again, more Habs mojo because that's how I do when I do what I do. Happy Bulin and Josie Theodore again and Vinny de Cavalier. Nice break, guys. Fun stuff. Uh, unfortunately, did not hit the Spets, so we hit the Bowmaster. Uh, what are you going to do? Quick recap, guys. I have to say that break was right on the nose. Supposed to receive four. Uh, jerseys received four, four rookies received four, four blues, two golds. Everything was on the nose, on point. And these die cuts, the base cards are just so cool looking. Uh, I love these base cards with the logos, all die cuts. We received, I think, 65 of the 100 base set, although I think there's some dupes in there. But just a great product, guys, rife with parallels or variations and just a neat little product that used to go for like nothing. And these boxes used to be like 40 bucks. Anyways, guys, uh, please be sure to sub, like, hashtag, draw, and add me full cards live and direct from a place called Montreal, Quebec. In a strong way to my soul Stop it just like Jelly Rose In a strong